If you're trying to lose two pounds a week, BMR minus how much you burn through exercise plus how much you eat equals negative 1,000. This is all based off of your personal BMR. And BMR is just your base metabolic rate, what you burn if you were sitting in bed all day. So that's not including the exercise. Your BMR is custom to you. So you can go on to, I believe it's calculator.net. You go your age, so I'm 27. So I'm gonna do mine right now, and then this is how you could do yours. Um, 27, and this is calculator.net, and it's the BMR. I'm a male, 5'10", weight 198. Um, I do know my body fat, so I'll put that. If you don't, uh, just go into the Mifflin St. Your. You'll see that option. Just click that one. If you do know your body fat percentage, then you can do the Catch McArdle uh, test. Calculate. So my BMR right now is 2,024. So I burn, not including exercise, 2,024. Now it says right here, and this will say it for you as well, uh, whenever you put in your averages, how much you burn when if you have sedentary lifestyle, so little to no exercise, 2,429. If I exercised one to three times a week, 2,783. If I did daily exercise, 3,138, which is what I do, so I'm probably around 3,138. And uh, very intense exercise, practicing in a sport, and you have to go to school, and you have like more than two things that you have to do, it's just like a physical activity, and you're moving around, 3,846. Yours might be lower, yours might be higher. So what I'd recommend is figuring out what your specific BMR is. Once you find out what your specific BMR is, from that number, you can say, how much can I eat today in order to hit my goal? So let me give you guys a little equation right now. Your BMR plus or minus, so it'd be like negative BMR because it's negative calories. How much you're burning through exercise plus how much you eat equals negative whatever. So if you're trying to lose a pound a week, which is 3,500 calories. You can go 3,500 calories because you have to be a deficit. 3,500 divided by seven per week. Every day you have to be a 500 calorie deficit. So BMR, which is a negative number, minus your exercise number, plus what you eat has to equal negative 500. That's in order to lose a pound a week. If you're trying to lose two pounds a week, BMR minus how much you burn through exercise, plus how much you eat equals negative 1,000. And that will be two pounds per week. So you, it's all a math equation. And the best way to get accurate results for that math equation is by tracking your numbers, tracking how much you're burning. That's why I'm always screenshotting how much I'm burning every day on my Instagram. If you're not following me, Coach Malik. But that is why, because I'm able to see how much I'm eating in, how much I'm eating out. It says today, I burned 3,000 so far on my watch, because in my app, we'll show this. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you want to try my app, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's called Mind Body Performance. But there's a way that you can put on your Apple Watch where it shows you how much you eat in and then how much you burn. And basically, at the end of the day, for me, I'm not trying to lose lose weight. I'm more trying to like kind of lean out and lose fat. I'm around. I want to be around five negative 500 to negative 1,000 right here. So I'm trying to lose about a pound or two pounds of fat every single week. So I need to be at the end of the day negative 1,000. That's the equation. So that's how you can personalize it to you. That's how you can personalize it to your goals and to your BMR. Remember, be certain in yourself and be consistent in your actions. Because consistency is